Hi, my name is Leif Tanel and I'm from the Pain Relief and Wellness Clinic. I thought today we could go through a few simple tips on um, how to save your lower back when you're lifting and doing awkward movements. Uh, I personally use some of these myself in the clinic um, just to save my back and after a few years you can learn to make them more habits and uh, they just feel natural and normal. So I thought I'd just run through quickly a quick review of the techniques I'm going to demonstrate. The first one is the proper pickup and squatting down, close the chest, coming up. The next one is for working at an awkward height. The golfer's pickup. Squatting down. Using the splits. Now to give a full explanation of uh, why these techniques are good, the most important part of lifting and your spine is to keep it in what they call a neutral spine, which means that it's in a nice uh, even line from ankle, knee, hip, shoulder into the ear. So following that classic plumb line, you don't want to flex over and flex back too much unless you're intending to do stretching. Um, what you would prefer to do is keep the spine locked with the core muscles activated which run all the way up and down the spine to keep it a cylinder and you move it as, as one unit preferably hinging off the hips. And this is why the glutes are so important because the glutes initiate the uh, hinging action from the hip. So first of all, I'd just like to demonstrate the classic lift. Um, when people say you should use your legs, uh, lift from the knees, not the back. Um, again, this is just a means to keep the spine in a neutral plane and not flexed or overextended. So to demonstrate, I'll get um, an object. Let's say this is quite a heavy object, it's 30 or 40 kilos. So um, I'll demonstrate the wrong way to do it first. So to stand far away, lean over, bent back, and picking up as thus. Um, plenty of load going through the spine, plenty going through the lower back. Uh, this will probably eventually give you a um, disc injury. Um, so the better way to do it. So you want to front up to the object, keeping it close between your legs. Then you want to squat down using your legs whilst maintaining a neutral spine. You grab the object. If you can, pull it in close to the body and then drive the pressure up in the legs. So I'll demonstrate again from the side. Squat down, get the object in close, and then drive up with the legs. Uh, you can also see that I brought the object closer. Again, this reduces the moment arm. The further out it is, uh, the more load that's running through. If we keep it close to the body, the smaller the, what they call the moment arm. So it's easier to carry. So another tip, if the object is too awkward or you can't squat deep enough, uh, another option would be to actually kneel down on the ground. And then once on the ground, uh, position the object or pull it close from here, uh, stand up again. Uh, sometimes it is helpful to rest your elbow on your knee and this will drive some of the force through the arm and the leg, as well as the lower back, but it will take some of the force out of the lower back. So you can lean up, and this will give you a bit of help uh, in going from a uh, kneeling stance to a standing one. Uh, the next one I'd like to demonstrate is the golfer's pickup. Generally, if you have a smaller object, like a remote control, or a golf ball, as the name insinuates, um, you can hinge off the hip and reach down and pick it up. 
And this works because you're still maintaining the neutral spine or the straight spine and all the movement is hinging off the hip but your spine's not actually moving. And you can see as well, I sometimes adjust the pants. You just need to do that to gain a little bit more movement in the squat. So you might find that with looser clothing, you may be able to do more of a squat than you can with um, tighter clothing. And now to demonstrate the golfer's pickup, what you need to do is front up and be about half a body's length away. And um, you need to pivot off one leg, maybe your strongest. And then as you reach down, you do require a little bit of balance. Remember to keep the spine nice and straight. Uh, with practice, this can become quite easy. It's a handy trick to have in your toolbox as well. So next I just want to demonstrate a helpful hint on how to be able to manipulate things at an awkward height. Something that's sort of around knee height or around the shin can be quite hard to um, to get at whilst maintaining a neutral spine. So what I like to do is once I've sort of squatted down a bit, run, put the elbow onto the knee and run the load through the leg in this way. I've got a good leverage point that I can then pull things up or if I need to store or stack or pull things um, I can do so quite easy whilst maintaining uh, the neutral spine as much as possible. Okay, so the next tip is if you're already, um, you've, you've forgotten, you've leaned over and you're in that slumped over position, what I like to do is just um, unlock the knees as much as possible, then come up on the pelvis and then stand up with the legs. So to demonstrate, you leaned over, you went to get something, you went, oh no, now I'm all bent over. Now instead of doing, this is the wrong way, like this, and you bend over, you unlock the knees, then you twist from the, from the hips, and then you come up with the knees. Again, it just helps save the back, and it might be the difference between you know, disc popping or not. And the number one thing to do is not to twist while you're flexed. So, I'll demonstrate. The classic problem, if someone's sort of bent over, oh, this is what I need, twist, and then they come up in a circular twisting fashion. Discs have been torsioned out to their maximal flexibility, so any force driven through there is gonna be compounded and um, best avoided. So another tip that I sometimes use in the clinic when I need to work on um, a certain level and then come down a bit and up again is to actually do the splits. Obviously, it help, I mean, if it's difficult, this might not be a possibility. I find it quite handy to just gradually let your legs come apart and then you can kind of lower your operating height by 20 or 30 centimetres. So, I just like walking out the legs and um, maintain a neutral spine. And now I can use and put pressure here. You know, you can go a bit deeper. That's where my splits end. Um, and then to come back, I usually just walk, walk the legs up. So generally, get yourself in a position, then do the task you have to, stop the task and come back up. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips have been helpful. Um, I actually personally use most of them um, as I work here in the clinic. I don't do a manual laborer's job, but um, still what I do is quite physical and I do need to manoeuvre people uh, into certain positions and, you know, similar to what nurses have to do in a hospital. I'm glad I've adopted these because my back's still holding out okay. Thank you for watching.